Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How To with Bidget Tinker. Today we are going to install and configure OpenSky component. We'll start in 10 seconds. OpenSky sensor that we will be installing today allows you to track overhead flights in your region. It uses data from the OpenSky network public API. Installation configuration is pretty short, but I think you will have fun making automations from it. Let's start. First, we have to open our configurator page. Let's open sensors file. And at the bottom of this file, let's name this section open sky we will create a new platform the only other necessary field for this component to work is radius default radius is set to 10 kilometers but for the testing purposes, I'll put it to 100. You do not want to overdo this radius because it can overflow your InfluxDB or your Home Assistant setup. So for testing purposes only, 100. There are some other fields that you can use, but we will not be using them. For example, you can change uh, latitude and longitude of your region. Why would you want to use that? You can, for example, use it if you want to track aircraft above some other region, for example, above your summer house, your cottage house, your secret evil layer or something like that. The next attribute that you can change is altitude. Default setting is zero and it means unlimited, but you can change it to, for example, 5000 and that will give you information only about aircrafts that are 5000 meters or less in air. One of the reasons you can use that is, for example, if you live in a remote area and you also want to check where the aircraft is above your head via binoculars or just looking out the window, you can put it in a lower altitude. But for the testing purposes, we will leave this at default. And the last option that you can use is, of course, sensor name. What that means is, for example, you can create two regions. One, you can be named open sky which is your default home region you leave everything out except radius and you create the second sensor which will be called for example that will be called open sky dash evil layer and you put location of your secret underground bunker okay but this is it for this test purpose we are done let's save this let's go to configuration server control check configuration And let's restart. And our server is back online. Let's go to overview and let's try to create here some kind of uh, sensor information. Let's save this, let's close it, and as you can see, we currently have 15 flights above our head. Sorry, 14 flights. Okay, what we can do now is we can go back to our Synology. In Synology, let's open File Station, let's open Docker, Home Assistant, and let's open Automation YAML file. Let's go to the bottom of the file. And here you can just copy the text I will be writing here. So this will be ID, some random number. Okay, alias. Aircraft in protect. That airspace 
description we will not be typing. For trigger, you have to type in following. Platform is event and event type has to be open sky entry. The other option you have is open sky exit. Open sky entry will trigger every time aircraft enters airspace and open sky exit will be triggered every time aircraft exits airspace. Let's create action now. For the action we will be calling our telegram bot or whatever notification you want to create here. So it will be service. Notify bearded bot. That's the name of my telegram bot. And we will be using data template. For the message of course. Flight aircraft in protected airspace. The rigor event data call sign. This is what you have to type in. And this tells the system to uh, pull the data from the triggered event from the open sky entry and fill it with the call sign of the aircraft that just entered the airspace. And this should be it. Let's save this. Let's go back to the Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, let's go to Configuration, Server Control Check Configuration, and let's reload automations. Okay, let me fire up Telegram. And let's test this component. Let's go to uh, configuration, automations, and let's try testing it here. Unfortunately, if I test it here, it will not be. It is triggered. Okay. We have here information about the aircraft. And its call sign is OEKMA. Oscar Echo whatever, whatever, whatever. Of course, you can play with the automations. I know that this component will not help you that much in home automations, but it will give you something else to track on your sky, not just International Space Station. And this is it for today's Home Assistant How-To. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. If you have any kind of a suggestion for my next Home Assistant how-to video, please leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun!